Welcome everybody, welcome, welcome. And this time my five minute review will be of Dan Brown's Origin. Another novel featuring Robert Langdon. If any of you who don't know, Robert Langdon is the main character from The Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons, Inferno, Lost Symbol. Um, I think all of those have a, a film made based on those books. Anyway, this is now Origin. Um, you don't have to read any of those four other books to, to read this one. Actually, none of those books connect to each other in any way in terms of the the story. The only thing that does connect is Dan Brown, um, Robert Langdon is the main character. Even that, he doesn't really develop between books, from book to book. He's kind of, you know about him, but that's about it. Anyway, Origin. Origin is interesting because it's, I found it different from the, the first four or the other four books. In the sense that in this one, Robert Langdon's skill and knowledge as a symbolist and a historian and all that are not super relevant. Uh, this isn't too much about history like the other ones were. This is more about, uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's more about like modernist art and um, Spain's geography a little bit. And like, there's not really a big th focus on that. This is more of a murder mystery compared to the others. Uh, what is the book about? Quickly, without spoiling anything, Robert Langdon's former student, Edmund Kirsch, makes a, a groundbreaking discovery about uh, the origin of human, or not human life, life, all life. And he answers the two questions, where do we come from and where do we go? Where are we going as, like, as a species, as, a, as life in general? Um, and he's about to make an announcement on it, and then he gets murdered. That's a typical Dan Brown opening. However, this doesn't happen right in the beginning of the book. It kind of, there's a build up towards this more in like a quarter of the way through of the book. Unlike most books, most of his books, it's like right away, bang, someone gets killed. We need Robert Langdon because he's a history guy, blah, blah, blah. This is more, Ra Robert Langdon happened to be in this situation and then this murder happened. And now he kind of wants to do his former student justice by finding out what the announcement was and uh, revealing it to the world. So on that note, he, without spoiling anything, he finds out that there's a backup copy of this big announcement that his student, former student wanted to make. Um, all he needs to find is a password that is 47 characters long. So there's not much in terms of puzzle solving. There's a little bit and there's a little bit of history but it's more on the fly. He has to use his knowledge of symbology a little bit, but it's not as prevalent as it was in the other books. Uh, also, the focus isn't solely on Robert Langdon. Um, there are multiple parties involved. Multiple things are happening at once. There's the Spanish uh, monarchies involved. This book takes place in Spain, by the way. Spanish monarchies involved. Um, there's religious figureheads involved because, you know, like the implications of such an announcement. And the way Dan Brown writes this book, it may, he makes you feel like it could be any of these people who ordered for um, Edmund Kirsch to be murdered. So as you're reading, you're reading, you're reading from different perspectives constantly. And it's like always hints that it could be this person that did it. Like their motives, they're all there. Everyone has their motive, possibly. Even characters that are highly unlikely to be the ones who have ordered this murder. You for a second think maybe it is. Um, on that note, uh, there is a twist at the, right at the end, at the very end, but I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil anything about the plot. I think I gave the, the, uh, a good synopsis without spoiling like the, 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 the lead up and the climax and the falling action and all that. Overall, this book was very entertaining. Uh, I kind of took my time reading it. And then like, as I got like halfway through, I just kind of blazed through the ending of it because I, I, just the momentum started to build up. Um, if you're like, in, if you're really into history, it, this isn't really one of those. Like, there's a little bit of stuff, things about Sp Spain and the the monarchy and and their ties to the Catholic Church, things like that. But it's not the main focus of the book so much as it is more of a murder mystery and more of Robert Langdon and some other characters trying to 
do justice for the man that was killed and find his discovery and reveal it to the world. So that's all I have to say about Dan Brown's origin. I thought it was a really great book. Uh, personally, I like all of his books, so maybe I'm being biased, but uh, it is it does stray from his normal formula a little bit here and there, which kind of kept me engaged because his books started to get predictable in my opinion. Not that I didn't like them, but they started to get predictable. I predicted kind of the twist at the end, but the motives and things like that, uh, I couldn't figure it out. As I was reading, I was like, what is it? Who is it? Like, why would this... I know that this person did this or whatever is like caused this or ordered this murder, but why? I couldn't figure out why. So that kept me going too. Anyway, read it. That's Dan Brown's origin. Thanks for watching. Please like the video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you want to see more book reviews or learn more things about life or the world or whatever or following me on my quest. That's all I got to say. Take care. See you guys next time.